Hi, so if you click this video, you probably want to know how to make a comic when you can't draw. So we're going to go over that and help you make your comic. So first, welcome to Inner Warrior, where we... So first, welcome to Inner Warrior, where we help you change your life by unleashing your inner warrior to get what you want. So first things first, how do you make a comic when you can't draw? First thing to realize though is you don't have to know how to draw. There are plenty of people who are writers who work with artists to get their comic created. I mean, it's the same thing in uh, animation, right? The, the writers don't animate all the stuff themselves. Sometimes they might animate, especially when it comes to uh, like a web series or something. But more often than not, they outsource that to get their story made. So what are some ways that you can create your comic without having to know how to draw? Well, the first thing is you can team up with an artist you can team up with an artist. You might, ha you might have a, a friend that's an artist who really wants to get their work out there. You know, they love drawing, which is great because if you're here, you're probably a writer and not much of an artist. So this would be great. But more often than not, right? Because this can take up a lot of time. Drawing your comic can take up a lot of time. So more often than not, you're gonna have to pay an artist, right? And that's the third option here. We're gonna talk more about this because more often than not, this is what's gonna end up happening. You're gonna to have to pay an artist. So let's go through that. When it comes to paying an artist, the first thing to realize is you don't need a lot of money. Sure, places like DC or Marvel or independent comic companies, they normally have a good amount of money that they pay for their comics. But you don't have to do the same thing. You don't need that much money to get your comic created. So let's talk about how you don't need that much money. First, you're gonna pay by page, which is good for you because you don't necessarily have to make a comic that is a, a giant graphic novel right out the gate. Chances are you probably shouldn't do that. You should get used to working with an artist and getting your first comic out there. I usually recommend doing a short comic, maybe doing a 12-page comic, like a short story, almost like you're doing a backup issue, let's say, for DC or Marvel, right? The second thing is, it doesn't necessarily have to be in color because black and white pages are cheaper, right? So your comic doesn't have to be in color right away. In fact, you could, as you grow an audience, make your comic in color because you already have the black and white pages. So it's best to start out with black and white pages. Now, the third thing, budget your money. Because if you don't budget your money, you'll never have enough money to actually pay the artist, right? Like even if you save a little bit at a time, you can get this done. Like for example, if we were doing a 12 page comic, right? And let's say we're doing uh, we find an artist who would do it for $45 per page, right? Hey Google, what's 12 times 45? So that's $540 for one comic. That's in black and white and that's without lettering, right? If you were to do the lettering yourself, that's all you gotta pay. If you were to do the lettering and pay someone to do the lettering, it might cost a little bit more, right? So let's say you find a letterer for $5 per page. So that's gonna be $60 to do the lettering for your 12 page comic. So together that's $600, right? But now let's budget this. Let's not think about the, the whole thing in one shot, right? Let's think about it. Let's say this $600 and you say you give yourself uh, maybe three months to get the comic done, right? So you're gonna divide that by three. So, if you save $200 a month, you'll be able to create your comic. Or, let's break that down further, right? Let's do it per week, let's say. So you're gonna divide that by four. 
you basically got to save $50 per week to get your comic done in three months. And you got to remember too, you're not going to pay for the page until the page is completed. And you got to give your artist time to complete those pages. So let's say you break this down and say, hey, I want to do, um, instead of paying all one shot, because you definitely should not do that, you break them down. So let's say you have the 12 page comic, right? And you break it down, uh, pages one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10, and then 11 and 12. And so now you're gonna break it down. This is only $90. So you're only paying $90 for each set of milestones here. And then you also gotta think, the letterer is not gonna do the lettering until after this is even completed, right? So, man, think about it. You're only doing $90 for two pages. So, you could get this whole thing done for $600 or break it down so that you know how much you can spend. But at the end of the day, it's not that much money, right? Compared to what uh, studios like Marvel or DC or Dark Horse are paying their artists. So that's a pretty good deal. Now that we talked about how you can pay the artist, let's talk about where you can find the artist, right? So when I find my artist, I usually go to one or two places and that's Fiverr or Upwork, right? So now what's important about finding an artist in one of these two platforms is you gotta look at their reviews, make sure that all their previous clients were happy with the results Right? Make sure there isn't something fishy or wrong with the artist. So the second thing you wanna look at is their portfolio. You wanna see their work to see if it's gonna fit your style. Their different artists have different styles and if you have a specific style in your head, you're gonna to wanna to find an artist that's close enough to that style. And then the third thing is, you're gonna to wanna to shortlist the ones that you like, right? It makes it easier for you so you can go back and reach, start reaching out to them. Some of them might be busy and not be able to take on your work at the time. Some of them are ready to go. Right? That's why you gotta shortlist them first and then reach out to them. This way, you can talk to them about it and obviously look at how much they're doing their, for their pages and make sure that they're a good fit for the art and then you're all set, right? That's all it really takes for you to make a comic when you can't draw. So, if you like this video and wanna see more things like this, uh, we, we're gonna go into more of the comics, uh, how to create a comic, how to make a story, how to make a compelling story, how to format the script, all of that we're gonna go into. Uh, so subscribe and hit the like button if you wanna see more of that. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or, or wanna see uh, more videos. We also do a lot of mindset things on this uh, channel as well because a lot of this has to do with mindset as well because if you don't have the right mindset, you won't even get to this point, right? So we'll talk about mindset, we'll talk about things like law of attraction, uh, how to manifest things, how to work with your subconscious, all of these things to unleash your inner warrior to get what you want. And if you wanna see some of the videos that I've made in the past, I did a, a series where we looked at superheroes and how we can learn from them to better our own lives and unleash our inner warrior. And you can check those out here.